been raining. That's good. In a way. I'm eager to get the rest of these logs milled up. But I'm running out of places to pile boards. This space here has accumulated a lot of stuff. But these are boards that I milled a year and a half ago when I first got the saw. There's some big cans in there, uh, little cans, miscellaneous everything. There's a lot of stuff here that's probably scrap, kindling, that sort of thing. Some of this is uh, grist for the lathe. But there's a lot of space in here if I organize it properly. So that's what I'm going to do. Just because I went out to the sawmill to make lumber does not necessarily mean I will actually make lumber. On this day, before I could make lumber, I had to make a place to put lumber. I tend to keep everything because you never know when it might be handy for something. And this often works against me. And so it is with saving every scrap of board that comes off the sawmill. We'll get all this red wood in one, well, two stacks. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this redwood stump. Okay, here's what happened to that entire pile. Everything that is remotely useful, single stacked, braced so it won't fall down. This is all firewood. Recent rain made the ground wet, so a little more water won't hurt. This is an easy way to get mud off the logs, if you don't mind making more mud. The log isn't parallel to the mill bed. By blocking one end, I can turn the other end and pivot it. That puts dirt in the bark in the end of the log, so I have to make more mud. Ideally, the log will end up on the sawmill bed with each end resting on a bunk. Plus, it's going to end up exactly the way I don't want it. I think this end has the biggest overhang. Long ago, I made a floating bunk that I can put wherever I need it. People ask why I load logs this way. Why not put a winch on the other side of the mill bed and crank them on easily? There is not room for a winch between the sawmill and the shed wall. And most of the logs I mill aren't big enough to be a problem. Okay, I'm not going to mill that now. I'm going to pull the other two off the trailer. Drag them over here. So I can park the trailer. And get it out of my way.
the end of this last log was a bit bell shaped and was going to plow a lot of dirt out of the driveway. I thought I could use the skidding cone. I couldn't make it fit over the odd shaped end of this log. The saw ran out of gas before I was finished, but maybe it would be good enough. Now, let's see if this going there any better. No, not really. This log is just too big for this cone. Maybe I could hold the cone on with a tent peg. This tent peg is too big for this chain. Guess I need a nail. There, the cone is barely on. The nail is holding it up. So now, just going to see how this works. You probably saw that coming. Cone came off, plowed up a lot of dirt, and I have no idea where the nail is. Now what I do, I'll get the metal detector and the magnet. Try to find that bright shiny 16 penny common nail before a tire does. Because I have so little space here, I need to turn the trailer around by hand before I can hook it up to either the truck or the ATV to back it into its parking spot next to the end of the sawmill shed. All of this is a pain. Moving the trailer was easier than I expected. I thought maybe I can park it by hand. The trailer needs to be as far to the right as possible to clear the driveway, but not too far or it'll go over the hill and I'll never see it again. It needs to be about a foot more to the right. I've never done it by hand before and that's exactly where it goes. Do I want to take logs off the truck, pile them all up here, or take them off? As I need them. I think as I need them, five o'clock. Not going to be doing any milling tonight. Regardless of the hour, I can't mill again until I clear the saw buck of all of this firewood. I used to pile firewood on the ground 
just to the right of that plastic roof there in the background, but I need that space for something else. So I've established a new firewood place on the other side of the big shed that eventually will be roofed over. That odd looking plywood trailer on the right holds our fishing kayak. We call it the kayak coffin because of the way it looks. We had to end campfire wood sales early last summer because so much of our wood was wet. This summer it will be dry. Just piling all the wood on the ground in a heap is a lot faster than stacking it, but there's something satisfying about creating a firewood stack. It's sort of like working a jigsaw puzzle when you don't know what it's supposed to look like when you're finished. I really will mill those logs one of these days soon. As always, thanks for watching.